And now for Who Owns Kenya, and tonight we feature East African breweries. The company was founded in 1922 by two brothers, George and Charles Hurst. The then Kenya breweries would, however, suffer a big blow when the eldest of the two brothers, Captain George Hurst, was killed by a rampaging elephant in 1923. Ironically, the company's most famous beer, Tusca Lager, derives its name from the incident that saw the company change the name of its premier beer from Kenya Lager to Tusca. The company has since then diversified its product offering to over 11 beer brands across East Africa, as well as spirits and wines, leveraging on Diageo, its largest shareholder. The company, which was listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange in 1934 as EABL, and uh, it is one of the most valuable companies on the NSC, valued at over 350 billion shillings. Now, EABL owns eight other companies, including Kenya Breweries, Kenya Maltings, East Africa Maltings, Central Glass Limited and its export arm EABL International in Kenya. Now the company also owns 98.2% of Uganda Breweries and 51% of Serengeti Breweries. Of note is EABL's production of Ugandan traditional brew, it's called Warigi, that unlike Kenyan traditional brew, is manufactured and packaged through Uganda breweries. So, who owns East African breweries? The company's top shareholder is a London-based firm, Diageo PLC. They own the controlling stake in the company through two subsidiaries, Diageo Kenya Limited and Diageo Holdings Netherlands and Guinness Overseas Limited. Now, together, the three companies own 50.03% of the company, or just over 395 million uh, shares, valued at over 102 billion shillings, going by the last quoted share price on the NSC. Now, the rest of the top 10 shareholders of East African breweries are a series of foreign and local nominee accounts, a reflection of the interest of institutional shareholders in this company. The largest individual shareholders of the company are Mr. and Mrs. Karsandas Babla, who holds 0.78% of the company, translating to 6.18 uh, million shares, valued at about 1.6 billion shillings. Another top shareholder is Jeremiah Kereini, who is a former chairman of the company. He holds 0.18% of the company, valued at close to 1.45 billion shillings. Now, according to uh, the company, individual Kenyan shareholders own 12.19% of the company, valued at 24.9 billion shillings, while local companies own 13.9% of the company, valued at 28.5 billion shillings. Shareholders, Diageo Kenya Limited, 42.82%, uh, valued at 87.7 billion shillings. Diageo Netherlands, um, as well, uh, hold, uh, there we have it, 4.55%, uh, valued at 9.3 billion shillings. Um, Guinness Overseas Limited, 2.61%, valued at 5.3 billion shillings. As we mentioned, Mr. and Mrs. Karsandas Babla, 0.78% valued at 1.6 billion shillings. Next on our list is Jeremiah Kereini, 0.18%, 1.45 billion is what that is valued at, as we mentioned earlier. Kenyan companies, 13.9% uh, as we mentioned, 28.5 billion shillings. Local individual shareholders, 12.19%, 24.9 billion shillings. Just the graphics there for you. And that gives you an idea of the shareholding structure of East African Breweries Limited. Let's take a look now at our quote of the week. I love this one. I love many of them, but, but I love this one. And this is from an African business magnate, Mike Adenuga. He's a, he's a billion dollar Nigerian businessman. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Simple, straightforward. And there we have it. Love